Hey C3 kids, welcome back to reading The Biggest Story with me. So last week we finished chapter 4 of our book, which means this week we'll be doing chapter 5. Now if you remember in the first video I told you this book has 10 chapters in total, which means that after today we'll be halfway through our book. Yay! Last week we went to Egypt and we met Moses. We also learned about the plagues in Egypt which allowed God to free his people. Well, let's see where the people are going to next. Chapter 5 It was a very good thing God was always rescuing his people. Because it seemed that no matter how many times God saved his people, the Israelites were never quite safe from themselves. See, after God delivered his people from Egypt, he gave them a lot of commandments. This wasn't to punish them, but to help and protect them. There were good commandments, and if they obeyed the commandments, God's people would be blessed. There would be food and children and long life and protection and a new home. It would be just like they were in the paradise again. That's where God wanted to lead them all along back to the garden. But if they didn't obey, there would be curses, just like the ones that fell on Adam and Eve and the serpent. Now I wonder if you know how many commandments there are. As you might have guessed, the people didn't do so well obeying God's commands. And after Moses and his helper Joshua died, they disobeyed even more. They ignored the most important commands. And when they did work hard at some rules, like getting their sacrifices right, they didn't really obey those rules from the heart. They just checked them off their list and forgot about the more important commands. Not that God's people deserved it, but God finally gave them their promised land. God did the work to get them in, but God's people didn't do the work to drive everyone else out. This caused a lot of trouble for the Israelites. They constantly had enemies to fight, and worse, they constantly had to fight the temptation to be just like their enemies. Sometimes things would go well for Israel when they had a good leader and when they obeyed, but most often things went poorly. God gave the Israelites rules, but they didn't follow them. God made his dwelling among them, but they didn't act like they wanted him to stick around. God sent prophets, but Israel didn't listen. God provided priests, but the priests didn't know how to be holy. Later, God gave them kings, but the kings were a royal pain. Israel was a mess. Of course, God still had his promises to keep. For most days, it was hard to imagine how anyone could save the stubborn people. It would have been even harder to imagine how the promised man could come from among these people. The end. Now, in the beginning of this chapter, it talked about some commandments that God had given the people. Now, I wonder if you know how many commandments God gave in total. If you know how many, do you want to shout it out on one, two, three? Perfect, he gave out 10 commandments. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten in total. So the craft this week will be making a reminder of these 10 commandments. We have the first one, which is only one God. We have no idols. We have respect God's name. We have keep the Sabbath holy. Respect your parents, do not kill. No adultery, do not steal. Do not bear false witness, aka do not lie, and do not envy. So in our craft video next, we're going to learn how to make this little Ten Commandment reminder at home so we can remember all the commandments that God gave to us. Thank you for reading chapter 5 of The Bigger Story with me this week. This week as you start going back to school, our prayer for you is that you'll be protected, that you'll have lots of fun with your friends, and that God's face will continue to shine upon you. Thank you for reading with me this week. I will see you next week for the next chapter in the bigger story. Bye.